Alright. Um, let's get it. We live. Are we are we on the air? All right. They coming in, they coming in, they pulling up, they pulling up. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Welcome to another episode of Binding Means Podcast. You already know. Juwan, welcome back, bro. Um yes, sir. Don't mind my eating. Now nah, you good. Want to give a shout out to all our Players' Choice members. Uh, shout out to our, our GOAT members. Shout out to King J and Comatose. Uh, if you want to be a part of, if you want to be a part of Players' Choice in any way, the bottom, uh, the bottom of the page has all the information you need to become a member. So anyway, let's get to it. There's a lot to talk. There's a lot to talk about, Wani. Yo, we definitely gonna talk about them giants. We're gonna talk about a lot of stuff. We're gonna talk about a lot of yes, stuff sir. today. Today is really the first day. Why they really just gonna chop up ball today, bro? Yes, sir. Just us, man. Yeah, it's the first yes. day, so I ain't gonna lie. Any questions, super chats, maybe just maybe, maybe we bring on it. We'll bring up one person to ask a question yeah. or say any take they want to get off their chest Whatever to me or Wani. Yeah, so you know. But definitely ask this question because we finally gonna talk some shop. I'm gonna pick Juwan's brain a bit. He's gonna pick my brain to see where we kind of at. But I don't think we've really just talked back football really in a minute. Like yeah, we have. Rip, so, we have so let's it. get into it. Um, first thing first, Colorado news. I feel like Juwan. Anytime I get Colorado, yeah. Anytime it's Colorado, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I might just say this right now. This podcast is a Colorado UConn stand podcast. So anything going on at those two universities that is anything of significant. Significance, we bring it up. I got to. Got I got to. to. So, so Colorado good. news. Colorado news. So the Buffaloes are considered are considered to be one of the teams to join the Big Twelve. Now I don't yeah. know if you noticed, know Wani. Y'all were actually in the Big Twelve. I think yeah, at the time might have been the Big. Yeah, I think it might have been called the Big Ten. There. Yes, yes. I think it might have been called the Big Ten at one point. But now, so you potentially going back to the conference. Do you think that is a good move for Colorado or a bad move? Honestly. Um, I would like for us to stay in the pack for now. You know, I feel mm -hmm. like people are trying to leave and get away from the Pac-12, mm -hmm. but I think it's time to take it over first. We start there. You know, you start small, build on. We take the Pac-12 over. Mm -hmm. After we do that, then we'll see what's next. You know, who says right, the Big right. 12 is ready for us? We might need SEC vibes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh! But, wait, wait, wait. Did you just say... Colorado might be SEC vibe. One day. <laughs> nah, maybe Yo. one day we'll see what we'll see what promise. You know, somebody clip that. Clip that. <laughs> um, so 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 I, I hear you. I hear you, but I gotta push back a little bit. Don't you think it is kind of annoying that a lot of y'all games are always the last games on TV? Don't you think maybe the TV thing might have something to do with it? Because Fox, all the Big Twelve games play in the afternoon. There's yeah. not too many night games. Most of the pack is like literally. You have to, to me if you really know what's going on in the Pac-12, you are you are a college football fan. Yeah, you're not a casual because right. even even though it's a prominent conference, that I think that conference specifically is shackled in some ways by its West Coast audience because of how late the games are. Man, you hit it, and it's crazy because I never even thought about that. Like I never thought about that and looked at it, looked at it that way. Mm -hmm. You know, being from the East Coast, we never we. You're only really watching the Pac-12 game if you're fans of certain players on the team, right, honestly, right. Being from the East Coast. I mean, we growing up watching USC or Oregon. Those are like right. the really two teams we watching. Right. But it makes sense. The late ass yeah. games. Yeah, late games. Like, like, bro, really, like, think about it. I, I think about it as a kid, bro. Think about the only teams we used to stay up to watch. Probably USC when we were young. Yeah. Those days. Then obviously all them Oregon teams with all that mm -hmm. speed that was coming up. And then I think now this year the biggest team to watch from the Pac-12. This past season was was USC because everybody wanted to see Caleb yeah. Williams and Lincoln Riley. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And obviously, yeah. Colorado now is, I mean, literally, bro. I'm gonna tell you the power of Dion, and that, and I find this to be so amazing, bro. Remember that? I don't know. You obviously follow the page. Dion literally yeah. said we need to get this page to 500k by the weekend. Y'all were at like 300. <laughs> by Monday, y'all yeah. was over 500k. Yeah. It took, bro. It took a weekend. I just checked back in just to see, like. Let's see if people was really cat. Was it not he was cat? But let's see if people really, bro. You got to five hundred k over a weekend. He's so I, yo, he's the different. power, the power of Dion is crazy. So, bro, I'm telling you, spring game, I'm coming. You know, you know what he said. Coming. You know what he said. 
What do you say? The only game that's on ESPN, the only spring game that's on ESPN is the Buffs. That's a fact. It's Tune the in. Buffs. It's Tune the in. Buffs. It's the Buffs. So, so I, I ain't gonna lie. We're gonna. We're a lot gonna, of pressure. I, I'm coming. I'm coming to that spring game. I gotta. I got. I gotta go to that spring game, man. I know it's gonna be electric. I've been to Boulder once. It was beautiful the one time I went. So I definitely want to go back. Um, so water it's draft season. It is that time of the year, That's man. Time. Obviously, this is the evaluation period because obviously I'm still just a fan. You know, at the end of the day, as much as I want to analyze the game, I'm a fan first. So I'm always thinking about what pieces fit where here and here. Mm-hmm. But as a wide receiver, I know you watch a lot of tape. I know you're a junkie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I know. I don't know. It, yeah, yeah. I know you are a junkie. You watch a lot of tape, an absurd amount of tape. But I know you saw some of these young bulls that's coming in this year. Yeah, I'm tuned in. So talk to me about your, your favorite five. And out of that five, just give me some of your standout. That's a good question. Um, now, being the NFL, you know, you kind of – Take a lesser role in watching that stuff, but you know it's always fun to, like you said, see who's next up. You know what I'm saying? Give these guys their flowers as well. But I, there's a couple guys I like. Um, I like Tink Dell. He's not my one or any of that, but I think out of my top five, who I like favorites, I like Tank. You know, a lot because he's an underdog. He's an underdog, and they don't want to give him his props. They don't want to put him up there where he needs to be just because he plays at Houston and he plays in a weaker conference, but he led the comp, he led the, you know, the nation in yards or whatever. And you can see he has a skill set. Like everybody can see that, you know, it's right. just a hater if you're not one to admit. So, you know, he's going to have, he's still going to be a project, you know, he's small, he's going to have to stock up and, you know, understand how physical that fella is, but right. he's one of them guys. I like um, Josh Downs, a new kid that I, I was a hit to. <laughs> I, just started watch, I just started watching him. He's tough. <laughs> He's tough. He might be. He might be my favorite. He might be my stand. Josh Downs is your favorite? No, nah, I don't know. He might, yeah, he might be. He might be one of my favorites. He might be one of the standouts for me. You know what I'm saying? One of the standouts in this class. His game just like it reminded me of a locket, but like ooh, ooh, a little more freakier. Big. A little more freakier, like. A little more for you. I like <laughs> I like Addison, of course. Right, like right, right, right. He's just a smooth player. Smooth player understands the game. Yeah, you know, reliable. Uh, let me ask you. Let me ask. Let me ask you about. Let me ask you about like when you're as a receiver, right? Yeah. Everybody gets lost in like forty times in speed, mm-hmm. and I and I think you told me this yourself. You know, it's about like timing. You know, tempo, not getting sped up, not getting slowed down, being at your own pace. Do you think the do you think the um do you think speed or the 40 time kind of overshadows now when we evaluate like let me like DBs or wide receivers? Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that the game has come to that point. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's not anything new. I feel like this has always been part of the game, you know, as we evolve and like enter this digital realm where everything's you know, all for seeing, all for show. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like it kind of ramped up then, but, you know, speed has always been something that the NFL loves, you know. Right. Because you can't teach that. You can't teach right. it. But, right. I mean, it definitely overlooks, you know, the other things because people could be way less polished, but that speed will make up for a whole mm-hmm. bunch, you know, in their eyes. So I, I'm actually really su- I'm actually really surprised at you Why? because you didn't, you didn't bring up Jackson Smith and Jigba. He is – he's my six. He's oh, my really? Five. He's my fives. Honestly, he's from O State, and if you're a wide receiver from O State, you understand craft, you understand football, the ins and outs. So Facts. he's going to be solid. He's going to be good, but he's not my fave. Mm-hmm. But he's definitely going to be solid. I ain't going to lie. I love Jason. I think – Yeah. I think obviously – I think obviously last season he played majority of the slot. Obviously, yeah. when you're playing with Chris Olave, Marvin Harrison Jr., he, and Gary he Wilson. Missed, he, he missed some of his past season, right? He, he, he missed majority of the season. He pretty yeah, much missed right. the year. He missed the year. I think he, he That's the only reason why I have him. Facts, know, facts. No, facts, facts. I do think if he was available for Georgia, we beat them. Without a, without 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 oh, yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they I think we beat Georgia if JSN plays. I, but I, I do think. what I love most about JSN is I think in the NFL he's gonna surprise a lot of people. Because he had to play a season in the slot. 
nobody sees who this guy really is as an outside receiver. Yeah. And I think that is going to be something that teams are not going to be able to factor mm-hmm. because they haven't seen it. And when they yeah. whatever team decides to draft this kid, I promise you he's going to come out there and turn heads and show that he is literally like a five-tool receiver. I don't know what else to say, but he has everything in his toolbox. I think people are are underestimating him a bit now because he didn't play much in the 40 time, but I still think he is a guy to be on the lookout for. Is that your standout? That's your one? That's your guy? Uh, right now, to me, Jay Santa was my one since last year for this draft. And it, yeah. it, it, to me, it didn't change. You know, kind of like okay. – I, I just think Jay Sand is, is an absolute route runner. I think he is never going to have a problem getting open in the NFL due to his elite route running ability. Mm-hmm. And honestly, when I look at guys like Devontae Adams, the one thing that I've learned from Devontae is and D Hop, these guys are not always trying to burn the top off you. They're getting you out of position. They beating you with your eyes. They're getting you to turn your hips. You know, they are they are surgically breaking you down. But I think Jay Sand is that level of guy because I feel like when you're that level of guy. You can play at a high level for ten for a decade because yeah. you are not relying solely on your God given gifts. Exactly. Like I look at why did Larry Fitzgerald be able to play a decade plus in the NFL because he understood the route tree. I think at a at a level that we have never we haven't seen much out of many receivers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a lot of these great receivers, even To. Like I love To. One of the, I think he's one of the five three greatest receivers to ever play the game. But I think in his later years, he started to break down because he didn't still have the same level of Route running, you know, he was such a, a yak beast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can, you can yeah. look at the same thing with Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin yeah. was phenomenal, but he was a yak beast. You just put the ball in their hands, and they made plays. They were bigger, stronger, faster. So I like guys like that. Yeah. Um, so on the flip side, on the flip side, now we're gonna do corners. Okay, who you who you like? Um, uh, so this, like? so this year I got so my five corners that I love that I like this year most: Joey Porter Jr., Christian okay. Gonzalez. Devin Witherspoon. Fox, baby. Yeah. Okay. Devin Witherspoon. Um, <clears throat> I'm a big fan of Travis Hodges Thomason. And and my last one, I'll probably go Cam Smith out of out of South Carolina. So my two standouts out of this group, I think some people probably are expecting me to say Christian Gonzalez because he's like the um <laughs> he's a he's a super freak. You know what I'm Shout saying? Out to you. Yeah, you know, he's Christian Gonzalez is, you know, obviously Olympic level sprinter, fluid hips. He is 100% a, a God given athlete. You can see it. But I think Joey Porter is super talented. And I think he's the guy. And I'm not going to lie, Wani. There's one thing personally that I take into account sometimes. And it's not, an, it is unfair for me to do this, but I always believe in it. And Joey Porter's father played in the NFL. Joey yeah, Porter Sr. That's it. <laughs> and, and, and that's it. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That's it, bro. That is it. Because for me, lineage, let's say you see Patrick Sertan a second, J.C. Yeah. Horn. These yeah. kids who have had a pro as a parent, they understand the craft. They it's understand different. the game at a high level. Yeah, Those are different. things I can mentally hang my hat on because you can pass all the, you know, like, like Dan Campbell said, you can pass all those running in pajamas. But at the end of the day, you you tell me all the time. It's I know from just going from high school to college, the biggest gap is the mental. Yeah. It is it is so mental. So just to be I there just, as a youngin, like yeah. really being there is just changes everything. Joey Porter Jr. has hours of of just experience that just some other guys just are not going to be able to have because they just didn't have that experience. Mm-hmm. But I like his height. He's six two, runs a four four. I mean Big corners right now are running the NFL. Sauce Gardner, Treek Willen. I mean, you could and why do you know? Yeah. Come on now. A tall corner <laughs> versus a, a smaller corner, it's more annoying, bro. It, it is yeah, it at is. the end of the day. It, it's more annoying. It's a bigger dude. You're not yeah. getting no jump balls. You're not, it's not as easy to just pluck it off the top of their head. So, you know, I love his game. Um, and I, I just think he 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 is solidified for me. You know, from the tape that I've watched, this kid has gotten better year after year after year. He's an All-American. What year? Is I think he's Joe, leaving early? He's leaving early? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's going into the draft. To me, he'll be a I, – I think if I'm a team, I know Devin Witherspoon will probably go first. I think Christian Gonzalez will probably go second because of the physical. Yeah. But I think that I think Joey Porter will round out that first round with the corners. And I think whatever team gets him has a day one – has a, has a day one starter – at the position. 
Yeah. Now this corner, is not corner is so tough. Corner is so tough to like project who's gonna bust and like who's gonna be the surprise. It's like really so tough. No, I'm Honestly. no, I'm serious because you because sometimes being a corner is like you gotta have to have, have a dog in you. You gotta have yeah. a dog that you can't really teach. Like my 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 fifth corner standout is um Travis Hodges. I hope I said Travis Hodges Thomas out of TCU. He's my fifth and one of my standouts because, Juwan, I promise you, if this kid, and I'm going to give you another thing, Thomason, what last name that sounds like? Oh, okay. That's T.O. Uh, LT, LT's nephew. LT's nephew. Okay, nephew. Who's LT's nephew? I heard again, that. again, lineage. My, but my thing is, he's five foot eight. So obviously, he, he's not, yeah, he's not going to go. He's probably going to be third, fourth, fifth round just because of the height. Teams are going to be scared of that. And I understand that. But if he was 5'11", if he was 5'11", he'd be a first-rounder. This yeah. guy, this kid has the goods. He's a competitor. I think he was the spark plug to a very underrated TCU Horn Frog defense this year. And this kid runs 4'4". Everything athletically that you want, like testing-wise, mm -hmm. he has it, bro. He has it. So – I'm, I like this group. Of, I love this crop of corners, honestly. I think this is a great crop. But Joey Porter and Thomason, those are my two that I'm like, you know, those are my two favorites in this come, upcoming draft. I got a sneaky corner for you. My boy, Ooh. Makai Blackman. Um, my son from USC. He is was, he coming uh, out this year? Yeah, he's coming out. He's probably projected mid-round, mid, mid to whatever. I know he was the highest-ranked corner in the Pac-12, like PFF. Mm-hmm. From Colorado, transfer out of Colorado. So man, be on the lookout for my boy. You on the lookout, yes, sir. Colorado has got has a few corners in the league. If people don't yeah. know, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Do. We got three right now. Four, yeah. three, four. So you know what I'm saying. Make sure I get the likes up in the two in the in the chat too, y'all. All right, Wani. Couple questions. Mm -hmm. All right, Wani. So there's been a rise in this idea of the project quarterback. Mm -hmm. There has been obviously the conversation now has been Will Levis and Anthony Richardson absolutely skyrocketing up draft boards. Yeah. And it has caused a lot of controversy. I mean, there has been a clear pushback by football fans, media. There's some media who are all for it. Others are like, I don't understand how these guys go over Bryce Young. I mean, Bryce Young or CJ Stroud. Um, and I think this is from seeing guys like Josh Allen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Who are considered experiments. But Josh Allen also played a lot of football at Wyoming. I, I think people forget that as well. Yeah. Um, so what do you think about this, about this, um, about these two young quarterbacks? And do you think the NFL will be the place where we can see them thrive maybe in ways that we haven't seen them thrive at the collegiate level? Yeah, I think I think it's still the place for them. I think the NFL is a place for them. There's nowhere else for them to go. I feel like people have been so caught up with these quick hitters, like these one quick hitters, like these new, you know, some of these, not everybody can be that, that stand out, you know, Hall of Fame, you know, there are people. Wait, say that, wait, say, Wani, say that, say that last part one more time, just because you lag. Say that last part one more time. Okay, I said not everybody can be that stand out, you know, one-on-one -on -one rookie, you know, it takes time right, for some people. Right. It takes time. People are projects. and right. Owners have to understand that. They have to approach these players and give them the confidence. You got to mm -hmm. be patient. And if you give them the recipe, you're going to see, you know, what you drafted. You're going to see it right. because they're there for a reason. So it's just a matter of, you know, people have to have patience. Not right. everybody's going to be that that guy. And I think that both these guys, both these quarterbacks can become something, you know, in this league. Who's, I don't think that – Um. You know, it's still early. I think it's still early. I think it's still early, but you know, you got to be patient. That's all I'm gonna say. You so you want to hear what? I, so you want to hear how I really feel? How you feel? I think it's bullshit. Personally, excuse my language. I mean to curse, but I think it's bogus because I, I'm not a fan of us deciding because somebody's talent is great, we're going to put them over somebody who is produced. Okay. I will never be able to get behind that because yeah. I watched Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud produce at high levels. I watched I watched Will Levis lead the lead the SEC in interceptions. I watched Will Levis. Also, this is the guy in Will Levis who could not beat Vanderbilt University. Yeah. 
out of Kentucky. And I'm not saying he's not physically talented, but how does physical talent correlate to winning football games? Yeah. I'm, I'm with that, you. I'm with you. And that's where I lose. And this is where, and that's where I lose. I, I lose some of this like faith because Josh Allen, Juwan, you and me both know Josh Allen doesn't happen a hundred times. Yeah. Now that, that's one. He's one in a thousand shot that that yeah. happened. You see, we see more Mitchell Trubisky's and Sam Darnold's and Unfortunately. God, and I hate to say it, Zach Wilson. You know what I'm saying? These yeah. guys, these are more of the trajectory. The I mean. Paxton Lynch, he can't even start in an <laughs> XFL game or a USFL game or a CFL game. He's been best at every single level. And because yeah. he was six foot seven and had all this talent, he was a first round draft pick and got first round money. And is probably yeah. still living off that first round money. Yeah, 100%. You know what I'm saying? Because of just his 100%. talent. You know what I'm saying? So I just like, I just, it, it bothers me sometimes because I get it. But when you're, when you're jumping guys like, CJ Stroud, who is showing you that he can throw, he can throw a ball on the money from any angle. Bryce Young has showed you that he can do, he can do it all. I don't know, Wani. I just, I think, I agree. I think that they shouldn't be picked over either two of those quarterbacks. Like that should be stable. Those are the, the top two quarterbacks, and appreciated that it's you know two young black Americans mm-hmm. leading the way. You know, changing the culture. Shout out to them Facts. boys. Shout out to them boys. I do think that Will Levis and Anthony Richardson, I don't I could see them going to a team, you know, where they're competing. Mm. They're competing for that spot, but not handed it to right away. But right. You know. I mean, I think that I'm gonna be honest, bro. Life's like a right gamble, now, bro. Life's a gamble. One of them just might pop up. <laughs> it's a gamble, bro. It's, it's just like space. I know it's like space. It's like I get it, bro. but bro, but bro, my my I just I can't wrap my head around it sometimes because CJ yeah. Stroud and Bryce Young did at such a high level that it's just kind of like it's like how do you pick Zach Wilson over Justin Fields? Like I don't I don't know. Like I don't I don't know what the thought process mm-hmm. is. And sometimes I just think it's GM's trying to be right. Like look who I found. You know, yeah. like look what I found amongst amongst the weeds <laughs> that you know what I'm saying? Like and it just yeah. it doesn't always work out that way. Stand on that. Like personally, right now the odds on favorite to go first overall in the draft right now is CJ Stroud. He's the yeah. odds on favorite currently. To Carolina. Now to Carolina. Bro, I think it's gonna be Anthony Richardson or Will Levis. I don't think it'll be CJ. Nah, no way. You think I so? Swear. You are gonna sneak in? <laughs> mm-hmm. I could see I heard Anthony hey. Richardson. I've heard that. Hey, fifteen better get fifteen better get ready. Yeah, I'm gonna say uh fifteen better get ready because Cam 2.0 is coming, bro. And he's he's I think he's gonna be a Panther. You know, I think he's gonna straight up be a Panther. Um we'll see. All right, Juwan. It's that time. It's that time. Where is it? Can I find it? What you need? It's that time. Damn, I can't find my flag. It's time <laughs> to talk about them. It's time to talk about them guys. The Jets. Them the Jets, guys. baby. Them guys, them Jets. The New, York, right now. the New York, the New York, the New York, the New York City Packers. You yeah. feel me? <laughs> Offset, offset, offset. <laughs> um, bro. So at the end of the day, you know, some of the stuff don't comment on, but you know, obviously Aaron Rodgers holding the Jets hostage, and um, I am, I am. Ex- I, obviously, it, it is said that it is a done deal that he'll be a New York Jet. Um, obviously, he's going on the Pat McAfee show tomorrow at one p.m. So I will be tuned. I will be tuned in. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I might be off the ashwagandha before I tune in, bro. I might be. <laughs> you feel me? You know, like, cause I might need some if you don't. I might need some. Feeling. I might need some ashwagandha if he don't come to the Jets, bro. If he go on that show and says anything, but I'm I'm a New York Jet. Oh Lord, somebody check on me. Somebody call me and check on J Rob if he go on that show and say I'm not a New York Jet. So I'm Aaron Rodgers, if he is. Are you gonna I'm be happy? happy? Are you truly gonna be happy, or are you gonna be what, what's what are you feeling? Honestly, deep down, what you what are you feeling? <laughs> uh. See, the people who on Player's Choice who know me, they really know. And Wani, it's just like I know we only get this opportunity. We're only gonna have this window for about two years. 
So we have to go all in. We got to go all in for this championship. And my biggest fear, Wani, is if we don't get a championship in two years, we just drop 60 mil on Aaron Rodgers. And I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it. He deserves this money. Yeah. But Lamar Jackson is available. And this is and that is a decade. And I'll be honest, if I was a GM, I'll be honest with you, if I was a GM, as much as I love Aaron Rodgers, I know I could plug and play him right now. Plug and play him right now to be a star. Yeah. I'm I would still be scared. Because I know at least I get Lamar for a decade and Aaron turns 40 this year. I just and I don't know I don't I don't know if 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 you're gonna add like Lazard and Nathaniel Hackett and Cobb and it's like we're bringing all the guys back together. So now we're bringing in expect even more expectation. We're yeah. bringing in all his favorites. We're probably we're, there's a chance we're bringing in Odell Beckham Jr. as well. <laughs> uh, so if we're bringing in all these guys, like there is, we are we're doing what the Rams are doing. We're going all in. Yeah, we're going all. Man. We're going all in. That's true. And I and and you know I say it all the time. Why in our group chat? If you go all in and win, it was worth it. I will lose Ooh, for another. 100%. I could lose. I I could lose for another for a half a decade. We can go. We cannot make the playoffs for the next three years, four years. I got that ring. In my lifetime, I saw that ring, and I'm cool off of it. So I'm, I'm scared, Juwan. I, I'm genuinely scared, bro. I feel that. I feel that the Jets are definitely. They trying to make that move. They trying to make it happen. They trying to get to the chip. I know you close with Lazard. Um, he's he. We signed him. We just signed him. So I mean, if right, that's any, in, did you know he was going to the Jets? Did you guys ever communicate? Nah, nah <laughs> no, he didn't. Um, I know he does love spending a lot of time in New York, though. Um, mm-hmm. That's my mm-hmm. guy. You know, I was supposed to link the last time he was in New York, but yeah, he loved New York. So it's actually quite fitting to see him there. Um, really? I'm actually excited. For, yeah, I'm real excited for him. You know, I'm excited for him too because obviously, I think him paired with, I think him paired with, um, with uh, Garrett Wilson and Brees yeah, Hall. Right. He's a veteran. You know, I do think he's a bit of an upgrade from Corey Davis. Yeah. Um, and I just think that'll. Be, I think that's a guy who can really. Really, I just add some leadership to that to that yeah. group. You know what I'm saying? He's, like, a, he's a perfect group piece. Perfect group yeah. piece. Yeah, I think he's gonna. He's definitely a perfect piece. You know, that's that lead. That's that's the piece that New York needs. You know, to change the help change the culture. You know, because yeah. he's somebody who's did it. You know, at a level playing with a Hall of Fame quarterback for yeah. four years now, and he's played in playoff games. He just has. He brings the confidence and and he just brings the confidence and you know his own swagger to the room. You know, something like, something that you could feed off of. So, right, right. No, no. I'm, I'm, ex- I'm, ex- I'm excited to see what happens, man. But at the end of the day, you know, the AFC, the AFC goes through, it goes through Ooh. that man. Yeah, it goes through AFC? that man. I- AFC is like the, the West of NBA right now. I'm not gonna lie. No, the, the AFC is the the Chiefs Invitational, Juwan. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I know, I know, I know, I know. Some of these, some of the fans, you know, you don't want to hear that. But it is because at the end of the day, you gotta go through the Chiefs. If you have to go to play the last five years, if you were an AFC team over the last five years, you had to play a home game at Arrowhead Stadium to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough, bro. That's, that's even tough. you know, and and th- and I, and I'll put it like this: the only two players to get to get through that, one of them was Tom Brady, TB. the greatest quarterback to ever play the game, and then the second mm-hmm. guy is Joe Burrow, who most people say. Is, and and I think as well is the second best quarterback in all of football. So, you you understand the, the how difficult the the road is to get no. there, you know. So I look yeah, at it like that. Different. I look at it like that. So Wani, I know some guys we want to t- want to be wanting to like tap in, ask some questions, get our takes on stuff. So I'm gonna drop this link into the chat. This is like our first version of uh, this show we do called. Op- There's a show that gets done called Open Gym. We let a fan uh-huh. just tap in. So they're going to ask some questions. You come in and out. So I'm going to throw that stream yard link in here. Make sure we get them lights up. Um, oh, and Wani, don't forget, before the show ends, we're definitely doing that March Madness bracket. I got it in here for us. Oh, yeah, let's I'm do excited it. About, yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, let's do it. Well, while we're waiting for somebody, while we're waiting for y'all to click that link, see who comes in here. Mm-hmm. Juwan, what's uh, Are they personally going to come in or are they just sending a question? No, they'll probably come in and ask some questions. I'll let them come in and ask or say whatever they want to say. Um, they come in and say whatever they want. We chop it up. Um, 
Lamar, bro. What do you think Lamar lands? Woo! Oh, man. That's the I'm that's the one. I'm stressed for him just because I know he has so many people in his head and in his ear. <laughs> just because all this stuff is so public. So public right. and it's talked about every right. single day. I yes. know he doesn't want to hear all the bullshit. <laughs> So I'm personally stressed for him, and I know that there's some goodness going on behind the scenes that people don't know. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. All yeah. trying to portray this whole image that nobody wants them and all this stuff. Yeah, and there got to be something going on behind the scenes that's, you know, working in his favor. So we'll see. All right, yo, now nah, I feel you, bro. I ain't gonna lie. If he's not a Jet, I'd rather him be a Falcon, bro. Give me some of those early two thousand Vic, Vic Vic days. Bring it back. Be crazy. You feel me? The start right. Nostalgia, bro. I don't know if I like the Falcons for him, though. But they need a player like him. But I don't know if I like that for him. I like. I I want him somewhere with a good line. I need him somewhere with a good line. (laughs) Bro, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of teams that are gonna that are gonna be looking to to grab him, bro. I I think I think it's a lot of smoke and mirrors with what nobody wants him. I think that's all just a ruse to just see what it plays out. But my boy Gabe, I'm about to throw him in. Well, when he puts his camera back on. I throw him in here, but he he want to ask, he want to say something. So you know, I'm gonna let my first. This is the first first ever. Uh, you want to say like in chat guest to hit by any means. Yes, What's up, Gabe? What's good, Jerob? What's good, Jawan? So uh, I wanna I wanna ask a question. So Jerob has been on Great Iron plenty plenty of times, calling a, a peer of yours in the NFL currently already a top five quarterback of all time, and that's Patrick Mahomes. So I, I just want to know how you feel about, about him saying that already in such a short time that Patrick Mahomes is a top five quarterback of all time. You know, calling, him, <laughs> calling him MJ Mahomes, this, this, and that. I just want to know hey. from a guy that's in the league currently, I want to know how you stand yeah. on that. <laughs> Honestly, I'm riding with Mahomes myself. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I'm riding with Mahomes top five to ever play the game just because it's just like he, he plays the game his way. Like, mm-hmm. He does it that mm-hmm. a way nobody's else, nobody's seen it, you know, especially like to do a yearly, year after mm-hmm. year, four years straight. Um, you know, Brady's had a consistency level of his own, but it wasn't this like out of magnitude like this. So I think if he continues on his role, you know, he still has a long way to go, but if he continues on his role. He's definitely top five ever to play the game. And, if he gets the most rings, he's gonna be the one. Hey man, <laughs> yo, Juwan, I'm gonna. I got him. I say so. I got him right now. I got him top like three, two, ever. Yeah, bro. yeah I, already I because. Home, bro. So I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real. I'm. I pre- with him. I just. I'm already just projecting, bro. Because let's be honest, Wani. Let's let's take away the the amount of time he's been in the NFL, and let's just take away. Let's take away his cumulative number. So how many? Because obviously, it's only been for about five year, five year period, five six year period. Yeah. If I told you this out loud, been a first team all pro, two time MVP, two time Super Bowl, two time Super Bowl MVP, been to five AFC championships, won three AFC championships. Um, what's the next? What's the next one? Two five thousand yard seasons, one one season over forty five hundred, another season over four thousand yards. Only plays only plays 14 games because he dislocates his kneecap, and then the year after he goes for another 4,500 plus. With 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 just those alone, that's a Hall of Fame career. Yeah, no, that's different. That is, you're right. When you put it that way, you're right. I, <laughs> I like Mahomes since college, like when he was in the oh, draft, really? like because yeah, because you could see a quarterback. He was throwing 70 yard bombs. Like right now, he. He's still with with, my, with uh, Tariq Hill kind of gone. You don't see it as often, but his arm is crazy. Like he makes crazy yeah. throws, but his arm is actually like really insane. As, as a receiver, when you see a guy that can just kind of, and not this is from your perspective, because I mean you've caught a, you've caught a pass from Aaron Rodgers before, bro. Yeah. Like yes, you you've seen it. Yeah. Um, him. So with that being said, like when you see when you see a guy as a quarterback, like what do you what do you look for in the way they throw the ball? Like is there any type of like I think ball placement now in the NFL is a lot harder, right? Because the corners and the DBs yeah. are a lot better. So, like, what is, what is your biggest thing when, like, with quarterbacks? Like, what do you love most about, you know, this this day and age level or this level of quarterback, I guess? Um, 
I love a quarterback who mm, ball placement is really key, but it's mm -hmm. more of a mental thing. Like right. a quarterback, he under he has to understand it. He has to really understand it at a level and like mm. it's more than talent. Like it's really more right. than talent. You really gotta right. take it to the next level, you know, mentally. And mm -hmm. I think if a quarterback who understands and knows his talent, knows what he has, the type yeah. of receivers he has, and is able to like mm -hmm. play to their strengths, like Joe Burrow. You talk about Joe Burrow, how he's a second. Um he does have great receive he you see his receivers are great, but yeah, obviously, time, obviously. he plays he plays to their strengths. Like he knows he mm -hmm. has two jump ball guys and two super right. athletic guys. So Right. He knows exactly to throw it just like that every single time. Right, right. No, nah, I like I, I think ball placement. I think ball placement is key. Gabe, I appreciate you pulling up to ask that question, bro. Anybody else want to pull up? The link is in the chat. Wait, sure can, I ask a, can I can I ask a second ahead, like fun question? So so Jerome, ahead, ahead, I understand, I understand you didn't make the league in Jawan. I understand you did. But Jerome, <laughs> let's say you did make the league, right? Let's say you did make the league. Jawan, would you fry him in, in a game? Because I know oh, yeah. he, I understand he played cornerback. Would I you fry lie. him in a game? Yeah, and I'm not a big shit talker. I I talk shit, you know. I will talk shit, niggas is coming at and people. My bad, people coming at me, and talking, <laughs> talking crazy yeah, at me. You're good, bro. You're good. But if John is if John's lying across with me, I'm talking shit all game. No, yeah, I understand. That's your cousin, man. You gotta yeah. talk. You gotta talk that talk. Hey, yeah, you know, what you, what, what you gotta say to that man? He's gonna get the work. He's gonna. Get you the, the thing is though, yo, the thing is, Gabe, I ain't gonna cap, bro. And, 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 and chat and chat won't think I'm delusional, bro. I think I'm going to guard Juwan right now, bro. Get mm. ass. Get <laughs> ass. Get ass, bro. Nah, not anymore. I swear to God, bro. I swear not to God. Like, and you got to really understand, bro. Like, I will really get this man work. Like, and he, I still think, like, if we not in pads, we just shirts and tees, <laughs> I'm frying, bro. Like, Crazy work. Crazy work. Anybody. Bro, mm. anybody can get it, bro. I'm the can man, bro. African, <laughs> Dominican, Mexican, anybody. <laughs> anybody could get it, bro. Anybody could get it. But yeah, bro, really? like Wani, if it was lined up against Wani, bro, like honestly, God is God honestly made was made the right decision not letting me go to the NFL. Because if I went to the NFL, I would have been worse than Josh Norman and Richard Sherman. <laughs> I would admit, I would, I'm trying to, talk, like, when I talk crap, anybody who's ever played this for me and I talk, like, I'm trying to make you feel bad about yourself. I want you out your game, your mental. So, yeah, I mean, we lined up. Juwan's getting killed, bro. Fry. All right. <laughs> I appreciate you, Gabe. Thank you for pulling up, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, um, so, bro, we got, um, we got asked about the Giants, bro. And I do want to talk about the Giants because, that is a team that I personally want you to go to. That's where I want you at, bro. Yeah. I want you back in New York. Maybe I'm biased. Obviously, I want to see you there. But Daniel Jones has got $45 million, baby. Mm -hmm. 45 large. And I know there has been a lot of controversy about the amount of money this man just got. And I always say this. Don't be mad at the man. Be mad at the agent. You know what I'm saying? Because that's who negotiated the contract. <laughs> he didn't negotiate that contract. But he got $45 mm -hmm. million. A lot of people said that they weren't may not have all been all been been all in on Danny Dimes, but Giants have clearly shown that they are going to go into the future with this guy. What did you see from his growth this year, and what do you think of him? What do you think of him going into the future? And obviously, they also just made a move to bring in Dan Waller. So, do you like do you like his game? Do you think, as you say, do you think you could fit in with a guy like that? Yeah, definitely. I think that his game is growing. You know. Like you said, everybody can't be that one-on-one -on -one guy, and people right. were quick to write off on Daniel Jones. You know, mm -hmm. year year three, year two, quick to write off on him, and mm -hmm. he bounced back in year four. And sometimes all it takes is that year, that one year, to build the confidence and right. you know the routine. And I think that, um, I think that he's riding in the right way. Like his stock is right. going in the right way. I think that he's making the throws. Like some this season, like. He can run, but he also made some crazy good throws this year and put right, the ball. Right. He had some pretty good ball placement this year, so I think that uh, give him the pieces. You know, we got a new coaching staff around him. I think yeah. that I think people don't talk about that enough. You know, because people don't understand how much coaches have an influence on games. And yeah, on a yeah. person's game, like yeah, you know, play every player is a project. You know, not everybody yeah. has 
the same support system, the same, yeah. you know, not everybody learns the same and you got to have somebody who believes in you and somebody who can show you the right way. And that's, that's a great point. Is, you know, he's moving that team in the right direction. That's no, 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 that, no, that's a, that's a hell of a point, Juwan. I, I, I love that point, you know, as, yeah. as a college athlete myself, you know, like I said, it. remember, I, I think I said it when we were doing the show with, um, with uh justin and in you know i i said before i said on that show you know i was that kid that you know i kind of had to hit my coach a little bit to get the best out of me you know you had to kind of push my buttons to get me there i now that i'm older i hate that that's how the type of player i was because now i don't need that as a man now but at the time that's what made me great you know i needed a coach that was gonna be like yo you suck like what are you doing like you know like get Mm -hmm. it that 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 turned me up you know i didn't like to be challenged about my ability you know like i think i know i'm good don't question my ability like don't feel like i'm questioning ability so i gotta prove to you that i am who i say i am and so i mm-hmm. think that has always helped me but i really love that that point that everybody doesn't learn the same and obviously you and i have never been quarterbacks there's a different level of pressure yeah. and obviously they chose that life because every quarterback got an ego yeah. every quarterback got an ego every single one but you're right, you know, and I and I think Brian Dable did very well with this kid, and I'm excited to see who they add. You know, I think it'll be, I think, I think it'll be better this year, um, and and I think they'll put him. And I think the fact of the matter yeah. they utilize his legs this year. Yeah, you know, know white 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 boys can run too. You feel mm-hmm. me? You know, like <laughs> that Daniel Daniel Jones can dead run. You gotta let him run. You gotta let him run when he wants to run. Um, I also think before we end this topic, I think the fact that he when he won this year, he won this year is like why he got paid. Like, yeah, of course. You, you need you need to win in this league, and no matter how you do it, you gotta win. No matter how no matter how you do it, you win. That's gonna Juwan, be- tell Juwan, hold on, hold on. See, now you just opened up a can of worms, bro. Now I gotta now we gotta dive into what you just said because I've been preaching this. I've been preaching this here on Gridiron for a minute, man. Like you just said, it don't matter how it gets done. They just want to win the football game, bro. And this is why I don't understand why teams are not going all in to bring Lamar Jackson into their franchise. Juwan Smith right. has won over he's won over seventy three percent of his games. Yeah, that's fine. Before the before the age of twenty six. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's gonna Stetson Bennett is gonna come into the NFL, and they're going he's going to be the same age as Lamar Jackson at twenty five. <laughs> And Lamar yeah. Jackson's already won over 73% of his games. He has won 40 games. Bro, he is the definition of he will get it done. And I think yeah. he got it done in an offense that didn't even put him in the best position to be great. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not, like not that offense. Yeah, like I just don't understand it. And, and I got and I want to show you this right here. Bills you struck Diggs deal to make cap space that they may be going for Eckler and Henry. They did that? That's just or I think that's going to. I, I mean, Austin Eckler is going to be up. I don't think there's a team in the NFL that doesn't is not looking at Austin Eckler more than the Bills. The Bills need to look at Austin Eckler and whatever he wants, give it to him for bringing yeah. him in because he I, actually he, he really fits. Yeah, he fits that offense big time. He he Austin Eckler would change life for that offense, and I'm not. And that's an offense that's not even bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just that I don't like that their run game is solely predicated to me on Josh Allen. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just. He's too big of a guy because at the end of the day, people hate when I say this, but Josh Allen reminds me of Cam Newton at times in a sense of he's so big that when he gets older, them hits hurting later. You know, it's easy now because he's such a big guy. But, you know, as Cam got older in the league, bro, you could tell them hits were starting to wear on his ass. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when I look at Josh Allen with that same thing and Austin Eckler, they, they need to bring a guy. You need to bring a guy that will actually – slow things down you know what i'm saying be able to give another guy to run to run the ball give get it out of another guy's hand so um i'm rocking with him uh think Devonte adams is going after this season i do i don't think he'll be a raider after this year no for real nah bro he ain't come no to you got bro he, he, i'm not come, like i didn't come to play with jimmy g you just give up darren waller to the jets i mean to the giants i don't really know what you're doing and I just, I just feel like a guy like, a guy like uh, Devonte Adams is supposed to be on a winner, bro. Yeah, he is. He's a winner. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. He's a winner. Yeah. But I mean, I feel like you need to be thinking about that. 
before you sign that contract. Like you gotta put all those things into. But Juan, nah, but Juan, you, Juan, I don't think I don't think as a football player you get the opportunity. I think personally, as a football player, you're not allowed to think like that. Yeah. Unless you're a quarterback. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Unless you're a quarterback. What what do they teach y'all? Get that guaranteed bread. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's what it's about. It's about getting that getting paid. So sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you, how do you feel about Jalen Ramsey going to the Dolphins? Woo! Practice gonna be crazy over there, bro. Yeah. I just wanna that's go see the ones. That's not I gonna be fun for receivers. Yo. Not gonna be fun for receivers. We got one guy who's Xavier who's super jammy, hands on, and you got another guy who does both. Yeah, who's just a freak. Yeah, the other guy's just a freak. Uh, yo, yeah, Lonnie. Nightmare for receivers. Could you imagine? Could you imagine the ones this year at that practice? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. I forgot about Hill and the other hey, side. Oh, hey, Hill, Wild, Wilson, Seti. Seti going to get some of that work, too. Yeah, that's right. big work. That's mm-hmm. big work. We got to get Cedric Wilson up here, man. Shout out to Cedric yeah. Wilson, bro. Shout out to shout out to Cedric Wilson. Shout out to um, Mr. Juco. Coffee, man. Coffeeville. Shout out to Coffeeville, man. That practice is going to be Coffee. crazy. All right, Wani. It is that time of the year. This is probably my second. This is probably my second favorite sporting event to the Super Bowl. <laughs> March Madness tournament, bro. Is so, it? yeah, easily. It's fun. Over oh, NBA championship? So, yeah, right here. So, up here, up it's here, bro, nice. is up here is the bracket tournament challenge. Let me make sure. Let me try to uh let me just control plus. So this is the NCAA tournament with the bracket. You can see it a little bit better, right? Yeah. Um, just if anybody wants to join, this is the by any means. This is the official, this is the official by any means bracket. So this is gonna be me and Juwan's bracket. Um I also I think I gotta let me make sure I could put uh I think I could share. So if anybody wants to join the binding means bracket, uh, let's see what's up over here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I just want to make sure I can share it. Uh, I'll share it in a minute. I'll make sure to share it. All right. All right, Wani. Oh, you pulling up? You pulling up the bracket on your screen too? Uh, just the NBA. I mean, just the college standings and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So this bracket right here, this will be me and yours bracket, bro. So whoever we pick, bro. This is this mm-hmm. is what we got to take it all, bro. So I'm a, I'm gonna look through it. We'll look through it. We'll go. We'll go match up by match up, bro, and finish it out. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Alabama, number one seed. Alabama against against oh, South Southeast Missouri. I think it's. I think that is South Missouri State. And then this is I don't know CC Corpus Christi. I think I think it's a Corpus Christi at the end. School in Florida. Nah, honestly, bro, I'm gonna pick Alabama. I'm not. Come even on, bro. We're going with yeah. Alabama. <laughs> shout out JQ, man. Yeah, shout out JQ, man. Redemption year, man. Shout out to that boy. Uh, Maryland or West Virginia? Um, ooh. let's see. Let's see. Let's see to some of these rankings. Op uh, points per game, first top five opponents. Ooh. Eleven and nine in the conference, seventy points per game. They only giving up sixty three points per game. I play a little bit of that defense, huh? Five and four versus top five, top twenty-five. Opponents. I'm going with Maryland. Let's go with the Terrapins. Let's go with the Terra. Let's go with the Terrapins. All right. So this one right here, Wani, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna go San Diego State. I just think um, I know a bit about this team. Not a really, not a great shooting backcourt. And I think this team, if it came down to like just being able to make shots, I think they're just gonna make more shots than Charleston. Now, Wani, this is my first upset, bro. Yeah, and I know. Herman. I know. I know. We have to pick. We have to pick some of them. You know, yeah, some we, of, we, we can't pick every high top seed. So for right. me, just from the from a betting standpoint, from I'm just doing like sports betting, this is my first upset. So do you want to get behind it, or do you want to chill <laughs> off of it? But I think for Herman, not so Virginia, you got to remember Virginia and is notoriously been known to to get upset in the first two rounds. They've lost to a they were the first one seed to lose to a 16th seed. They've also lost as a two seed in the first round, so I'm just saying I think Furman is the team is a team that can scare, it could actually beat San Diego State as well. So I would I, I am giving them a nod to get through, but it, it is it has to be a team decision. 
Honestly, I don't like it, but we can ride with it. Let me see Furman. Furman. 15 Ooh, okay. and three. They averaging 82 points <laughs> a night, Wani. Scoring 82 yeah, like points that. a night in college, bro. We can ride with them. Got to ride one of them. Got to ride one. Yeah. All right, we'll go firm. We'll go firm. All right, North Carolina State and Creighton. Mm, I honestly think North Carolina State can upset them, too. Yeah, I like yeah. that upset, too. Yeah. You want to go with it? want to ride it? Yeah, My bad. You want to ride it? Yeah, yeah, All right, let's it. ride with it. All right. University of California, Santa Barbara, and Baylor. I like Baylor. I go Baylor. I'm down with that. Mizzou, Utah State. Mizzou. Mizzou. And then obviously, shout out New Jersey, Princeton, Arizona. <laughs> Yo, you want to just, just cause New Jersey, bro? Like, nah. are we tripping? Nah. Nah. Yeah, nah. nah. Okay. All right. We'll go Arizona. We'll go Arizona. All right. Let's do this yeah, other side. Know. Let's go this other side. Houston for Houston. sure. Houston. I like Houston. Iowa, oh, Auburn. Ooh, I personally I think Auburn. Like you like Auburn? Yeah, what you like? I, I like Iowa, but we can go Auburn. Yeah. I'm okay with Let me Auburn. see. Click that. Let me see. Honestly. I ain't gonna lie. The thing I like about Iowa is, bro, I think they just have better age. I think in terms of... In terms oh, yeah. Of, Actually, like, I like Iowa. I like Iowa. They got that they, they got that kid. Yeah, they got the twin. Keegan Murray's twin. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. All right, Juan, you're not gonna like this, but I'm gonna have Drake? to video you on this one and go, yeah. <laughs> Drake? Yeah. Drake, <laughs> Drake, Drake, we're gonna go. Uh, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. I got Kent State. <laughs> you like Kent State too? I do, I do. I swear uh, to God, I do. I'll be battling the underdogs. Let me see that. Click that I. <laughs> what they talking about? Oh my God. Is it, I don't like, bro. Like, I think it can happen, bro. I don't know, but maybe not. Maybe maybe they're not gonna let us get off Drake and Kent State. Yeah, nah. nah you know what nah. I'm mean? saying? Yeah, India. Let's go India. Let's go Indiana. Let's go Indiana. I know you guys are talking college, but we're really talking everything. We're just picking up our. We're just doing our Mark Madness bracket to finish out the show. Um, but I heard rumblings about D D Hop to KC. Oh my God. Yeah, I'll be insane. That'll, that'll be insane. Iowa State or Pittsburgh, Mississippi State? Pittsburgh, Mississippi. Yeah, but this is like Pitt. This is Pitt Pitt. This is Pitt Pitt. Mm. I feel like if Pitt gets in, they can they can be Iowa State, but yeah. that's the thing. I don't know if they get in. But we could go there. We could, right. just say, we could go for it and just see. It could be Pitt. Right. Xavier, Kennesaw State. Xavier. I just want you to know, Wani, one of these three seeds is losing. And one of these two seasons losing, bro, in the first yeah. round. You think so? I don't think so. It happens every year. It bro. does. It, it, just, it, it does. Like, unfortunately, that shit's so crazy. Yeah, bro. So it's like, I'm just letting you know, like, at, at some point, one of these, we going to have to go on a whim and be like, Yeah, all I right. can't solve off. I can't solve <laughs> off. Uh, Penn State, Texas A&M. I nice. like, I personally like Penn State, but that's only because I've only, I've seen them play a few games this year close. And I have not seen Texas A&M play too much this year, so I don't. I saw, I saw them play this weekend, actually. Who? A&M. Did, um, did they look good? I, did they lose? Was that them who lost to Alabama? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. that was them, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was them. Uh, you like, who you like? You say you like Penn State? I like Penn State. I like Penn State. Right. I just think the Big Ten this year. I think I think the Big Ten this year was a harder conference, and so I think I, I would give them a nod. Right but then Texas, Texas, Colgate. I'm not gonna lie. Texas gonna smash these boys by yeah, 25. They're gonna smash them by 25. All right. Before we go into the other side, let's finish these. We gotta still finish these first round. All right, oh my Purdue. God, more? Bro, yes, bro. We gotta. We're, this is the round oh of 64. God. Yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost. We're almost done, bro. We gotta get. Nah, I didn't know there was. A, I still didn't know there was a whole first round. Yeah, right, bro. Look, yeah, bro. This is this still the first round, bro. I'm yo. St. Patrick's Day is Friday, bro. Now, all you really need to be doing is being at a pub. You need to be at a That's pub or a bar. It, it, starts, it starts. The game. The game is to start on Thursday. The game starts on Thursday. Yeah. St. Patrick's Day is Friday. I mean, I St. Patrick's. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day. You better find your best bar for St. Patrick's Day and just watch college basketball. Cause that's what I'm gonna be doing Friday. Per, uh, Purdue, 
Well, I'll go Purdue. Yeah, we're going. They Purdue. got they got the Big Ten Player of the Year. All right, Penny Hardaway or Penny. I need Penny. Penny to win that. Now, Juwan, here's another one. Duke, Oh, Roberts or Duke. Now I'm telling you, I'm just letting you know now. Whoever we pick, it's either gonna whoever we pick here is I'm taking the upset here. Just letting you know. Now, personally, I like Kentucky more in the tournament than I like Duke. And Oral Roberts got Max Acemus, and I think he's going for a thousand. So I'm just letting you know. <laughs> we gotta um, pick these upsets though. It gotta be one gotta be crazy, bro. I think that's yeah. I think this 512 is the crazy one. Yeah. I swear, Lonnie. I swear. All right, let's ride on it. All right, ride on it. All right, pause. Anyway, hey, Tennessee, yo. Louisiana. Yeah, hey, yo. Tennessee, right, Tennessee. Louisiana. Tennessee. And actually, Lonnie, you see this little bar at the bottom? This tell us. This tell you how many uh, picks we got left. Yeah. All right, Kentucky, Providence. I think we're going Kentucky, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is another one right here, bro. I've seen a couple. I've seen Montana. State. Like, I mean, this is one of those ones. Like, bro, like, let's see. Let's, let's ride. The, Mon- let's ride Montana. Let's ride Montana. <laughs> let's ride Montana. <laughs> 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 Ooh. All right, Michigan State, Michigan State, or USC. Um, Michigan State, USC don't play no ball. <laughs> I'll go with Tom Izzo, bro. Something is telling me. Yeah, nah, I like yeah, Marquette. Nah. Oh my god, my I like Marquette. Marquette. All right, Wani, I'm gonna do the one. This is the one, bro. This is the mega one. This is the mega one right here, bro. I'm gonna... Yeah, oh! we ride it. You're, you're not a fan, bro. I'm betting this like money. You're bro. not a fan on UCLA. It's not about being a fan, bro. I think UNC Asheville is gonna just win, bro. Straight out, bro. Like I just. Like this is if there's any team that is a four a fourteen to sixteenth team that I am that I'm hard on to upset a top three seed, it is this team right here, bro. So I ain't gonna lie, bro. We're gonna see. All right, now you can pick the rest of the way. You can pick the rest of the way up just because I'll give you just because I knew this is one I I, I, I definitely vetoed on this one. So I like go to around the Northwestern. Northwestern. Yeah, Gonzaga won last year. Mm, won last uh, year. They, they lost last year. Baylor won, I think. I'm pretty Baylor. sure. Okay. I like Gonzaga, though. Hey. They're going to be they're gonna be good. No, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, actually. I could be wrong. Nevada or TCU. And this one is eight. This one is Arizona State and Nevada are playing each other. So it could be Arizona State and Nevada. I think history has the 11 seed. Always usually having a better win percentage against the six seed. Actually, I think that's the. I like that. I like that. I, I want to go with that. All right, bet, bet, bet. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Don't even disrespect me here, bro. <laughs> I wasn't. All right, I wasn't. I'm not sold on it. I'm not sold on my own. Saint Saint Mary's VCU. Um, VCU is sneaky. I know, go right? To, I, like, I like. Yeah, I like them too. No, I like VCU too. I'm not mad at it. They sneaky. Um, I mean, these are these are two like mid major schools, bro. Even though St. Mary's is a five seed, they're still mid major schools. So I like VCU. Can, all right, let's go. Yeah. VCU. All right, let's do we, it. We could go VCU. Yeah. So you already know that's going. Either way, they're going to lose. Yeah, the UConn. Our, Arkansas. He Illinois. already put it up. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I ain't gonna lie. I'm rocking with Arkansas, bro, because they got two kids. Two kids on that Arkansas team in that backcourt are gonna be top six picks, bro. All right. Nick Smith and Anthony Black. So I'm gonna go with the college. I'm gonna go with the NBA talent. In Kansas versus Kansas. I like Kansas. Let's go Kansas. All right. Let's go back to the top. All right. Alabama, Maryland. I'm Alabama. I, I ain't gonna lie. Let's go ride Bama. All right, Wani. Here's where my Ken. This is when I got the elite. This is where. This is where I got the. Uh, elite. This is where I got the elite freaking uh statistics. Where right? it's time for us to tap to tap in for real. Let me find mm-hmm. these things. At all right, found them. All right, bet. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, where we at with it? Okay, San Diego State or Furman? Can Furman? I, and Wani, here we go no. again. You know that I know. I know you're gonna say no, but Wani, you know we have to pick a Cinderella. 
So because you know there's gonna be one bell at the ball who is going to violate. I got two team. I got another team that I think, but it don't have to be Furman. But I just want you to make sure you put that in your mind, bro. Right. There's somebody yeah. who is going to be yeah. like yeah. a stupid. We go, like? we go. Drake. That's <laughs> why I like Drake to go even further, bro. Not gonna lie. Right. Uh, look, I'll put Drake in yeah, here. We right. can do that. SC, we can do Drake. SC State. SC State. Baylor. Baylor, man. I like Baylor. We like we'll Baylor. Yeah, Mizzou, Arizona. Um, SEC ball versus. Want, want, want to see the eye again? I can show you the yeah, eye. Yeah. I can show the eye. Yeah, I like AC. Ah, let's see ball. Damn, hold on. See the uh, BPI strength for schedule. Like the thing is, the hardest thing about March Madness, bro, is like you can't listen to every stat in the world, bro. Yeah. But they're one, they're one and done games, bro. Yeah. With barely like, and with, you know. Yeah. Go ahead. What was you saying? Go ahead. Uh, that's tough. I'm gonna go with AZ though. All right, we'll go AZ. Shout out to AZ. Texas, Penn State. Texas. Texas. Xavier, Pittsburgh, yeah. Mississippi. Xavier. We're gonna go Xavier. Yeah. All right. We can uh, ride with Indiana. I mean, not Indiana. We can ride with Drake. 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 Oh, All right. I Houston, Iowa. Ooh. That's one Iowa could sneak it a sneak, but Iowa could sneak this one out, bro. But they're yeah. but it's like ah Houston. Um, I was watching. Is that player still hurt? They had a uh, one yeah, of the guys. They best, the they, they, they best player is hurt. Their best player yeah, is hurt, still right? hurt. I think so. I think he'll be going into the tournament injured. Oh, man, all right, Iowa. He, number Iowa. one seed is definitely not winning this thing. So. All right, I like that. I like it. We got Iowa, Iowa Drake in Sweet Sixteen. I love it. I love it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, um, Purdue Memphis. I'm gonna go. I think Purdue for this one, Wani. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I All think right, Purdue. All right, now Cinderella. No Rob was not beating Tennessee, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why does Oral Roberts sound like some popcorn, bro, or like some yeah. pretzels or something? I gotta bro. watch them. Yeah, but I got this guy, Matt. We'll go Tennessee. We'll go Tennessee. All right. Jackson, you, UK or Montana State? Um, UK. UK. Marquette, Michigan State? Marquette. All right, we'll go Marquette. You know, I was in Milwaukee a little bit. Asheville, Asheville or Northwestern? Who you like? <laughs> All right. Why not? Like to me, if they knock off them, they can knock off them. Yeah. And I'll go Gonzaga. Yeah, I like Gonzaga. Um Arkansas, Kansas. I actually like Arkansas to upset. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm not sold on Kansas. And I think Arkansas got a little bit more talent. And I just think this is like the thing about the tournament, you know, that that high pressure just it brings out dogs, bro. I think yeah. Arkansas got two young dogs, bro. I think they'll be able to do it. All right. Um, all right. Now we're at the top. Here we go, Wani. Right. Alabama, San Diego State. I like Tusco. I like the. I like the Crimson Tide. Me too. I'm not gonna cap. Okay. Shout out JQ again. Baylor, Arizona. I like Baylor. Baylor. I like Baylor. Their experience. Drake, Iowa. Bro. Iowa. I'll... Something is telling <laughs> me. Something is telling me, bro. Wani, I'm put. All right, all right, all right, fine, fine. All I mean, right, Iowa. With that. Drake. All right, <laughs> Texas. I'm assuming yeah. Texas, right? We're gonna say Texas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, Purdue, Tennessee. Purdue, Purdue, UK, Marquette. Mm -hmm. I might go UK just because it's yeah. Calipari. You know, right, let's do it. You like UK? Yeah. Gonzaga, Asheville. Gonzaga. Yeah, I think Cinderella's glass slipper comes to a close. UConn, Arkansas, is that the next one? Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> I like UConn. Are they like that, though? Bro, I'm not going to lie. Every Ken Palm metric got us as one of the best five seeds to win it all, bro. Like one of the best teams to win it all. We've we've literally every so there's this thing called Kemp Palm and this guy, bro, he looked at every stat that of teams that would potentially win. 
And bro, a hundred percent of the teams that have won, you that have won, UConn is coming at every single one of them stats, bro. That's all I'm saying. It's not bias that can't be backed up, bro. Just now you know. All right, hold on. Actually, actually, can I mean, let me just let me just let me just put it out so you know, like I'm not capping. All right, so look, these. All right, so look, I'm gonna give you the first thing. So the first thing is. When placing bets in March Madness, 100% of the national championship winners since 2004 have been top 12 teams in the Week 6 AP poll. Now, listen to those teams. Purdue, who's in our mix. UConn, who's in our mix. Alabama. (laughs) Houston. Tennessee. uh, The Texas Longhorns. Kansas. Arizona, Arkansas, Baylor, Duke, and Virginia. Now, obviously, okay. twelve none all twelve of these teams can't win. So then, then this so this is when things get better. This is when things get better. Now, here you go. Reminder: when placing a March Madness bet, well, one hundred percent of national tournament champions since nineteen ninety three have made their conference tournament f- semifinals. I mean, 100% of national champions since 1993 have made their tournament, their conference tournament, semifinals. So that means at least every Natty winner since 1993 has at least made it to the semis in their team tournament. So because of that, do you know who that takes out of our list? Because these teams did not make their conference tournament. So this is why we can't pick them to be a national champion. Tennessee didn't make it to the semis. Kansas State didn't make it to the semis. Baylor didn't make it to the semis. Arkansas didn't make it to the semis. Kentucky and Michigan State did not make it to their semis. So none of these teams we could pick to win the game, win it all. All right. Now, here, this is where it gets spooky. When placing a March Madness future, 100% of national champions since 1997 have been east of this line. Can you see this image right here? (laughs) Now, what teams are east of this line? 100% 100% since 1997, y'all. I'm giving out free money right now, fellas. Ladies, That's gentlemen. Funny. So, Wani, just with that information, I just want you to know I ain't being biased, gang. All right. Okay. Let's get to the top. Baylor. Baylor with Baylor. Nice Bama, Bama, man. Bama. Because Baylor, was, Baylor wasn't in our – we're not allowed to pick Bama and uh, Baylor anymore. They're out. Yep. Mm-hmm. We got to take Texas here, I think, because yeah. of the statistics. We'll go, um, so that's our final four. Bama, Texas on one side. Now, UConn has beat Gonzaga on every metric. And UConn right. has four national championships with Dan Hurley. And at one point this year, was the number one ranked team in the country. I like Gonzaga, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, bro. I'm sorry, Vito. All right. Vito! Um, Vito, 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 Vito. All right, Purdue, Kentucky. Um, Purdue. Purdue. Yeah, we can't pick UK. They lost in their semifinals. All right, so we got two one seeds in the final, so we know this ain't going to happen. Damn. <laughs> this is – you know what's the worst thing about the March Madness tournament, Juwan? The two four seed matchup is more likely to happen than a one one matchup. Yeah. He'd be folding. I like Bama. Take it all. Shout out to that boy Miller. All right, we'll go Bama, UConn. Bama and, and UConn. And, and, that would be and they'll pick UConn. Crazy. <laughs> 86, 86, 84. All right, what do you get if you get it right? Uh, We'll, we'll, enter, the all, we'll enter the all-state sweepstakes, and I think whoever has the best bracket, like the number one, I think you get a million dollars, bro. Yeah. Yeah, so we submitted our bracket, and we're here. Uh, I can't. I'm not gonna give y'all all of that. Remove that. Stop screen. All right, Wani, we are officially in. Um, we are finishing. We are officially in. Uh, if excited. anybody, now I'm excited. Let's get it. We are. Our bracket is officially I, selected. I haven't done a bracket in years. So I'm gonna make sure. Let me go here. Um. I want to make sure I can get everybody who wants to be a part of it a part of it. Uh, all right, if you follow if you follow me 
on the Discord or on uh, the Players Choice Discord or by any means Discord, hit me up. I put the link. I put the link in the Discord. Um, I'll put it in either one if you want to join. Uh, you know, the by any means uh, March Madness brackets. But with that being said, Wani, it was another great show, bro, and I really appreciate you. Um, to the chat, I am streaming at approximately ten fifteen. At approximately ten fifteen, I will be on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash jrob 2 gs I'm going to play be playing a GameCube classic, I think. Um, Gabe actually put the Gabe put the link into the chat as well. The the password to that link is bam. The password is bam, all lowercase. Get your brackets in, see if you beat me and Juwan. We are squad riding the Huskies, baby. So, Wani, now you got to ride the Huskies because it don't matter if you wanted to pick them or not. They're on your bracket. Uh, <laughs> now I'm really going to be watching this tournament. Yeah, I'm now gonna you got to watch, it, bro. This is our bracket right here, bro. Um, but with that being said, bro, give them your Twitch, too. What is your Twitch? Twitch.tv slash what? Twitch.tv slash. Slash. Hold on. Let me find this. What up, Pierre? Can you see him? I saw him yeah. in the back. Yeah, yeah I see him. You know what? I don't even know why I minimize this. I forgot I got the two screens. Two screens. <laughs> lit. I keep, you know, quick story chat. I've been, I had to talk to Juwan for about a year to get a two screen setup, bro, to get him a whole rig. It took a year, but that man finally did it, y'all. He finally he did, did it. it. He lit. I'm he loving it, it too. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, bro. I don't I even know how you, you how you see. Oh, yeah. Team went free 15, man. Team, type Team. that in there, bro. Team Winfrey, Winfrey 15. 15. Follow and me, uh, yeah, me and no Juwan will, will definitely be doing some content together. Um, yeah. I just hit affiliate, y'all, so, you know, That's get them subs up. Move. Tap in. It. But it took a year. We're here now. Hey, by any, means, by any means gaming on top soon, y'all. You know, if yes, you want to come rock with the by any means gaming team, hit me up on Discord for the Discord invite. Come to the Players Choice Discord and rock with us. Hit me up about the link for the tweet, the men's tournament challenge and holla at us. Peace. Yes, sir. Love. And shout out to our GOAT members. All right.